I feel that way. Excuse me, excuse me. What happened to you? Oh, that's so I just got back from my day out. I went to Aptec with Clem. I got their cinnamon bun. I love their cinnamon bun. It's so good. And then I got coffee at the Row Bar. It's actually my favorite, favorite spot. Their latte is insanely good. I love working there. I haven't been the best at staying on top of school because I've been traveling a lot. I think that going into exchange, I just personally made the decision to prioritize traveling and taking advantage of the city over school because I'm someone that takes school extremely seriously. Back home, I kind of spend most of my time doing schoolwork or work. So coming here, I just wanted to focus on other things because of the lenience. I'm just taking advantage of that. However, I have been slacking. So right before leaving to Portugal, I went over all the slides for my film class and made notes. And now this week, I'm watching all the movies on the syllabus. So I'm on my second movie today. I watched You're Not Alone. I feel like I'm getting kind of a glimpse at Danish life in a different way. Watch Watching their movies and reading articles written by Danish people about Danish film and culture. It's really interesting. So I'm happy that I'm actually taking the time to do this this week before I leave to Budapest and Sorrento. I'm just trying to get a lot of work done. So that's what I did today. And I have a synopsis for my final essay for the film class due actually in a month. So I have a lot of time, but I do want to take the time to pick a thesis that I'm interested in, which is why I'm watching a bunch of the movies this week. What's cool is I only have two big essays for each of these classes. That's basically my whole major back home writing essays so I know how to write a good paper so it's just a question of putting in the time I feel like going to class is good I'm so all about attending class you learn so much more in the flesh but like I said I just have my priorities kind of rearranged for exchange I think it's the one time in my life where I don't have to put school over everything else I think there's a lot to be learned in other spheres like travel and living on my own for the first time I already feel like I've grown so much and just realized so much which is really good. Has not been the easiest, but that's a little school update. Now I'm headed to Sarah's room. We're gonna make pesto pasta together and she's gonna teach me a card game. I can't go back inside. The amount of times I've almost broke my camera is insane. Oh, wait, let's cheers. Cheers. <laughs> good. That's good. good. My first time having I don't usually really like one, but that was good. This is also good. Uva. You said that. Yeah, these shorts. I'm actually running so late, oh my god. I'm leaving to go meet with Clem. We are going to this Kilo thrift thing we bought tickets for. I hope that it's good. And then after we're going to Lil Bakery, which I have been meaning to go to for the longest time. Their sandwiches look insane, their pastries, their cinnamon bun. And it's a nice day in Copenhagen. So I'm excited to just take advantage, get some sun. I just need to work for the rest of the day. I'll either come back here or go to a coffee shop, we'll see. the top that I got at the kilo thing. I love it. I'm about to go up to Sarah's room to get some hot water because I'm bringing my to-go cup with tea in it to keep me warm because as we know, I get so cold so easily. So my favorite thing lately has been going to the park towards the end of the day, reading, writing, being outside. I'm excited. I've been kind of cooped up for the past couple hours after getting back from eating. And so I'm excited to go outside. Let's go. But something's last forever. You wish it was more like you have to go. No, I kind of feel that way too and it makes me like... Also, tomorrow's Sunday. We should 
do brunch. It's easy to make promises for the young and free. But you kept every word you said and you stayed true to me. Good evening. I just want to jump into the video to thank ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. I don't even think I need to explain what ThreadUp is anymore because I talk about them so often. But for anyone who hasn't heard me sing ThreadUp's praises, ThreadUp is an online consignment thrift store. I love shopping on ThreadUp. It's so much fun. Moving to Copenhagen and living here, I have definitely developed not only my sense of fashion, I have a newfound confidence. I just love to wear whatever I want. I love to get ready in the morning. I just feel so much better in my skin and I think that that's reflected in what I wear. Also in Denmark, the fashion world is very different from North America. They are so focused on sustainability to the point where a brand doesn't really need to market itself as being sustainable because it's the norm and that's something that I find really admirable. I always feel best when I invest in pieces that are made sustainable, system that are made sustainably and ethically. That's why I love to thrift and that's why I love thread up because ultimately I get to shop all sorts of brands that I don't know if I would really shop otherwise secondhand. It's awesome with back to school season approaching. It's never too early to start building your wardrobe for when school does start. In the spirit of that, I did participate in ThreadUp's back to school campaign. Kind of like last time, I selected a bunch of items, different sizes, different styles that you can shop at the link in the description. It's also just to inspire you to show you the variety of things that you can find on ThreadUp because there is truly something for everyone. And then I I myself picked out a couple items. I'm gonna insert clips here of the outfits I put together. The first one is very summery. I will always be a long skirt girl. It's just, ugh, oh, it's gorgeous. This one especially, the colors. It's just like a vibrant outfit for a sunny day. Grabbing lunch on campus, sitting on the grass. And then the second outfit I put together is schoolgirl inspired. I love a good mini skirt with a cute top. The red tank top is from Brandy as well. It's estimated retail is also $19 and and I got it for $10.99. And then the red plaid mini skirt, the estimated retail was $38 and I got it for $19. I love red, obviously. It's just like so fierce. When I'm back to school shopping, I always end up buying things for the summer and then school starts and it's cold and I have nothing to wear. So you can maybe shop a bit smarter than me when it comes to the type of garments, but this is just to show you that there's so many things that you can find on ThreadUp. So much fun. You can check out my back to school shop at the link in my description. You can also use my code AVA for 40% off your first order. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Sunday, brunch day, good morning. Going for brunch, going to Sony. I've heard great things about their brunch. I thought it on.